hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to make this uh very cute off shoulder crop top and uh what you're gonna need you just need some uh kind of yarn in my case i use this kind of yarn uh it's called mount blank and also i use a crochet hook which is uh 5.0 millimeters i don't know if you can see that yes and that's it so let's get started okay so uh we're going to start with chain 106 so as you can see i already did it it's quite long so i did chain 106 because i want my top to be off shoulder top so that's why so you can do the chain size according to the how you want the top to sit on your shoulders so after i do my chain 106 uh we're going to start from the sixth chain from the hook so we're going to start one two three four five here on the sixth chain from the hook uh we're going to do hypo crochet so you're going to yarn over and go in that uh stitch and then do hypo crochet so you're going to pull through and pull through okay and then after that i'm going to do a chain one and then i'm going to skip the next chain and then go in the next one and do another half crochet so i'm going to do skip the, this chain go in the next chain and do crochet okay so after that uh, i'm going to chain one again and then skip the next stitch go in the next one and do another crochet do another one okay so we're going to repeat that pattern until at the end until the end so i'm going again to chain one and then skip the next chain do another double crochet okay so repeat that pattern until the end so i'll show you one more time so chain one skip the next chain and then go to the next one and do double crochet okay so you're going to repeat the same pattern all around until the end here okay and then i'll show you how to do the second row okay so after you finish doing your uh, double crochet in the last chain you're going to turn around uh, to the other side and then after we turn around we're going to do a chain four so you're going to do one two three four okay so after you do your chain four this one counts as a stitch so we're going to go here in our first half crochet that we did here not not the not the first the second one over so i'm going to go here and do another double crochet like that okay and then i'm going to do a chain one and then do another double crochet in our previous double crochet next one so you're going to do another double crochet okay and then repeat like that all again do a chain one and then do another double crochet on top of the neck of the previous double crochet like that Okay, and then you're going to continue like that again do a chain one and then do another double crochet here so we're going to go here on the center of the other double crochet and then do your double crochet okay so as you can see this is how it's going to look like so you're going to repeat that again so do a chain one and then do another double crochet in the next double crochet like that okay so you're going to repeat that until the end until here at the end and when you get here at the end uh, make sure you do another double crochet over here so i'll show you how to do it and then i'll show you how to do the next rows okay so repeat that pattern all around double crochet in all the other stitches until here at the end Okay, so after you get at the end of your row two, 
here at the end so we have this stitch that we did our chain for in the previous stitch you're going to do another uh, double crochet in here so you're going to yarn over go in a count one two here at the end and then do your double crochet there Okay, so in that way your work will be straight like that so like as you can see in my previous top this is how I did so when we're done I'll show you how to do the edging so uh, this is how it's going to look like in your ends so make to make sure it's straight just uh, when you reach at the very end make sure you do another double crochet in the chain 4 of the previous stitch so when you're done like that you turn over and then do another chain four so one two three four okay so that counts as a stitch uh in the first one in the first uh stitch so and then in the next one we're going to do double crochet so you're going to yarn over and then do your double crochet here on top of the previous double crochet so like that and then you're going to do a chain one then do a double crochet in the next stitch like that chain one so you're going to repeat that all the way until the end and then when you get again here at the end make sure uh, you turn over do your chain four and repeat that until you have 13 rows so for the 13th uh, 13 rows uh, that means from here to here until the arm and then I'll show you how to do here the bottom part okay so you have a total of 13 rows so you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 rows so in my case I did 12 rows or you can do 13 12 13 or 14 according to how long you want your top to be if you want your top to be a, a crop top you can do 12 or 13 rows but if you want your top to be longer you can do 14 rows okay okay so I'll see when you're done with your rows and then I'll show you how to do here the bottom part which is the body part okay so after you're done with your 13 rows uh, this is how your work should look like so now we're going to make the lower part of the top so this is the upper part of the top and to make the lower part of the top we are going to count seven stitches uh, from each end and place a marker over there because that's where we're going to start making uh, the arms or the down part of the body so you're going to count one two three four five six seven and on the seventh stitch you're going to place a marker over there okay so i'm going to place a marker over here okay so this part this little part will be our arm and also on the next part so i'm going to attach my yarn on the on this other side so i'm going to count one two three four five six and here on the seventh stitch I'm going to place my yarn over here just going to go through and then make a little knot like that okay and then I'm going to put my crochet hook through the knot and after I do that, I'm going to do a chain four. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Okay, so after I do a chain four, I'm going to start working my double crochets again all until the end. So I'm going to yarn over. Okay, and then go in the next season. Uh, the next double crochet over here so I'm going to go there and do a double crochet I'm going to do a double crochet okay so again I'm going to do a double crochet I mean I'm going to do a chain one and then do a double crochet in the next 
the next stitch then chain one then go in the next double crochet and do another double crochet like that okay so you're going to repeat that all around until the end so you're going to do again a chain one and do double crochet again okay so uh, you're going to repeat that all around until here where the safety pin is and then i'm going to show you how to do here at the end and the other rows okay so after you get here at the end uh we're going to do another double crochet so i'm going to uh do it i already did a chain one and then yarn over and go in the where your marker is so i'm just going to remove it okay and do another double crochet over there okay and then i'm going to turn over my work so when i turn over i'm going to do same as the previous work i'm going to do a chain four so i'll do one two three four and remember this chain four counts as a stitch so i'm just going to go to the next stitch and do my double crochet going to go here do another double crochet and then chain one do double crochet in the next stitch chain one and repeat that all the way around until the end let's do another double crochet okay so you're going to continue like that uh, until your top is uh, long enough so in my case i wanted my top to be a crop top so i did after i made the hands i did uh like one two three four five six i did six more rows but if you want your top to be longer you can make more rows you can make six you can make eight you can make 12 so uh however you want your long your top to be okay so after you're done with doing this and uh the other piece so you're supposed to do two pieces i'll show you how to join the two parts together and also before joining i'll show you how to do the edging uh which is like that it's just supposed to look like that so i'll show you that when you're done with your two pieces okay so after you're done with the bottom part this is how it should look like so now i'm going to show you how to do the edging and the edging is quite simple so uh what i did i did uh two rows of single crochet so these ones as you can see so this is single crochet for two rows so i'll show you how to do it okay so after you turn your work you're going to do a chain one at the bottom okay and then you're going to go in the next stitch and then go in the both the loops and then do single crochet and then you're going to repeat that go in the next stitch do a single crochet okay and then go also in the next stitch and do single crochet single crochet okay so you're going to repeat that until the end here and then you're going to repeat that for two rows so in this row and the next row do single crochet all the way around and then also you're going to do here at the sleeves you're still going to do two single crochets two rows of single crochets and here at the top also do two rows of single crochet so after you're done your work is going to look something like this so this is the arm the arm part you do single crochet all the way around and also this is the upper part as i did like that and also here are the arms i did two rows of single crochets so when you're done with your edging i'm gonna show you how to join the two parts together and then we'll be done with our top okay so after you're done with both uh both sides of the top this is how it should look like 
so stitching it together is quite easy what you're going to do is uh, you're going to make sure the two parts are aligned together like the way I did with mine and then you're going to take uh, this part and then stitch through using a crochet uh, using a needle so in my case I'm going to use a much bigger needle so I have this big needle I'm probably going to use this middle size or I can use the bigger one and then just put it yarn through and crochet here on the side and then uh, when you come here on the neckline the top part you're going to make sure this one uh, you're going to crochet from here I mean you're going to put your needle and uh, stitch it until here so that the two are in line together so you're just going to stitch from here to here because uh, it's off shoulder top and also on the other side you're going to do the same so you're going to stitch from here to here and then you stitch a little bit over here okay so you can stitch it on the inside part or you can do uh, you can slip stitch all through the two parts together so it's up to your preference so there you have guys I hope you enjoyed this very simple top it's really simple and really pretty so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and th give this video a thumbs up and until next time bye